वेलकम टू प्रैक्टिकल मेडिसिन टूडेज टॉपिक इज पायरेक्सिया ऑफ अननोन ओरिजिन पायरेक्सिया ऑफ अननोन ओरिजिन इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म पी यू ओ इट्स अ परसिस्टेंट टेम्परेचर ऑफ मोर देन वन जीरो वन पॉइंट टू डिग्री फेरानीट और थर्टी एट पॉइंट फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट लास्ट फॉर मोर देन थ्री वीक्स एंड डिफाइनिंग वन वीक ऑफ इवेल्युएशन दैट मीन्स वेन वी कैन से दैट द पायरेक्सिया ऑफ अननोन ओरिजिन इज प्रेजेंट when the temperature is more than 101.2 degree fahrenheit or 38.4 degree celsius more than 3 weeks of the duration the fever last or the pyrexia last as well as there is one week of evaluation that have failed to find out the cause hence it is known as pyrexia of unknown origin low grade puo and high grade puo so the low grade puo that is typically seen during the exercise after heavy meals essential hypothermia psychogenic excitement or premenstrual however high grade puo it's a facetious fabricated occupational related eczema hypothalamic lesion drug metabolic causes periodic in nature or ethysosis so that is the typically the pyrexia of unknown origin now the direct and street classification of puo the first one classical puo that differs from earlier definition only in the duration of hospitalization either 3 days in hospital or 3 opd visits without detection of cause or one week of intelligent and invasive ambulatory investigations this definition is almost same to that of the previous slide definition of the puo but here the hospitalization is of 3 days either or 3 opd visits without detection of the cause second one nosocomial puo when the temperature of more than 38.3 degree celsius that develop on several occasions in a hospitalized patient in whom infection was not manifest or incubating on admission with 3 days of the investigations including at least 2 days of the incubation of cultures so this type of puo it is known as nosocomial puo temperature is more than 38.3 degree celsius develops on several occasions in hospitalized patient typically in whom the infection was not manifest or incubating on admission with 3 days of the investigations including at least 2 days incubation of the cultures so that is the nosocomial puo now the third one neutropenic puo temperature of more than 38.3 degree celsius on several occasions in a patient whose neutrophil count is less than 500 neutrophils per microliter or is expected to fall in 1 to 2 days with 3 days of investigations including at least 2 days of the incubation of cultures temperature more than 38.3 degree celsius on several occasions in patient whose neutrophil count is less than 500 per microliter or the neutrophil count is expected to fall in 1 to 2 days because some other causes is present with 3 days of the investigations that includes at least 2 days of the incubation of cultures fourth one hiv associated pu in this the temperature is more than 38.3 degree celsius on several occasions over a period of more than 4 weeks for outpatients or more than 3 days for inpatients with hiv with 3 days of investigations that includes 2 days of the incubation of cultures so that is the typical puo related to hiv where the temperature is more than 38.3 degree celsius on several occasions over a period of more than 4 weeks for opd or more than 3 days for inpatient with hiv disease with 3 days of the investigations that includes 2 days of the incubation of cultures so that is the hiv associated pu so direct and street classification of pu we covered first one that is classical pu second one nosocomial third one neutropenic and the fourth one hiv associated pu causes of pu 
typically the pyrexia of unknown origin 30 to 40 percentage related to some sort of infection 20 to 30 percentage related to malignancies 10 to 15 percentage related to collagen vascular disease and similar 10 to 15 percentage is miscellaneous the cause is unknown malignancies associated with puo this includes hodgkin's disease non hodgkin's lymphoma leukemia hepatoma renal cell carcinoma and carcinoma of colon so all these are the malignancies that is associated with the puo now which are the some important investigations to find out the cause of the puo esr platelet correlation if esr more than 100 mm per hour with thrombocytosis that means increase in platelet count then we should think of the tuberculosis malignancy or connective tissue disease if esr is more than 100 mm per hour without thrombocytosis then we can think about the viral infections so esr more than 100 mm per hour with thrombocytosis then we can think about tuberculosis malignancy or connective tissue disease when esr more than 100 mm per hour without thrombocytosis then we can think about the viral infections second blood culture csf study cerebrospinal fluid study bone marrow study if we find elevated alkaline phosphatases then we can think about the biliary tract infections alcoholic hepatitis primary and secondary of liver hypernephroma lymphoma miliary tuberculosis and cytomegalovirus infection some serological tests to find out the cause of puo related to enteric fever hepatitis cytomegaloviral infection tularemia secondary syphilis brucellosis q fever amoebiosis and hiv so that is the typical serological test we should prescribe or advise to the patient to find out the cause of PUO. Important investigations related to imaging techniques. First one plain x-ray chest. This includes when initial x-ray chest is normal, a secondary x-ray must be taken after three weeks to rule out miliary tuberculosis. When the first x-ray chest is normal, but a second x-ray chest must be taken after three weeks. Why? That's the time taken for radiological opacity to appear. Motelling of less than 0.5 mm is not detectable in x-ray. Contrast films. Intravenous pyelogram in renal abscesses, tumors. This includes barium mill in intrinsic bowel disease, oral cholecystogram, cholangiography. So these contrast films typically helpful to find out the cause of pyrexia of unknown origin. Third one ultrasound. Space occupying lesions in hepatobiliary tree of more than 1 cm and endocarditic vegetation of more than 2 mm can be detected by ultrasound. In thin individuals the ultrasound imaging is excellent however in obese individuals it's somewhat poor imaging. So in the ultrasound, space occupying lesions as well in hepatobiliary tree of more than 1 cm and endocarditic vegetation of more than 2 mm can be detected. Now the fourth one CT scan, SOL that means space occupying lesion in liver of more than 1 cm and CNS lesion of more than 0.2 cm can be detected. The CT scan is excellent imaging in obese patient as well but ultrasound is excellent only in the thin individuals but not in the obese individuals. Now the fifth imaging techniques that is the MRI based resolution of tissue planes of different intensity. So MRI we can use when we want to know about the tissue planes of differing intensity. Advantage over CT scan when studying bone, brain, pelvis, spinal cord and thoracic large vessels. It is contradicted when metal clips are present and MRI and CT scans are useless in diagnosing meningitis. Sixth one, radionuclide scans. 99M TC sulfur scanning liver and spleen and 111 indium labeled leukocytes. This typically helpful in the detection of intra-abdominal abscess. 
मोस्ट पायरेक्सिया ऑफ अननोन ओरिजिन आर ड्यू टू अकल्ट ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस अकल्ट पर्स अकल्ट मालेग्नसिस एंड कोलाजन वस्क्यूलर डिजीज मोस्ट पायरेक्सिया ऑफ अननोन ओरिजिन आर ड्यू टू अकल्ट ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस अकल्ट पर्स अकल्ट मालेग्नसी एंड कोलाजन वस्क्यूलर डिजीज I hope through this presentation now you understand pyrexia of unknown origin. If you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends, group, batch and colleagues. Thank you so much everyone.